go to the store and pick something up for my grandmother and then go take it to her. So I will be taking you all on the journey with me. <laughs> this ought to be very interesting. I look a mess, but that's okay. Wanna know why? Because I'm on Zoom every day, so it really doesn't matter. Okay, so I don't know if you can hear me because I know they have the mask on, but I am about to walk into the store. Um, no, I did not drive with my mask on for those who are wondering. To be honest, I kind of don't know where I'm going because, oh, okay, well, <laughs> as I said that, I also see the sign. Let's see. I don't know if you guys can see this, but I don't even know this is how I'm like, they're doing it. Like, it's, that's crazy. <laughs> These people are not responsible, but okay. He has no mask on. It's not okay. Another one. Not okay. <laughs> I don't think this is just sweet. I'm like the girl at the desk. So I mean, I'll insert the video. You'll see what I'm actually talking about. How do I explain it? So they had the glass in front of her. However, comma, she was still like, <laughs> she was handing me everything, touching stuff. So I'm like, I mean, what good is it really doing if you have a glass to limit people's face-to-face -face interaction with you when you're not even using it? I just, I don't know, I thought that was funny, but. So, Jesus, it's just so weird right now because I know that I'm back home, still in school, I'm taking Zoom classes, but I don't usually come home except for a vacation. So it kind of feels like I'm on vacation. It's really not an exciting video at all. I just felt like I should put one out. But what's really alarming to me is the fact that, I mean, everybody's making it seem like I'm crazy for going outside with a mask on inside of CVS. It was literally only two people in that store who had on a mask. And that is the young lady, the cashier, the cashierette, the, the cashier Rihanna. I don't understand how I, I'm seem like the crazy person because I like my life, but everybody else just walking in the store all willy nilly, like touching stuff, touching their face. I'm like, have you? <sighs> I just can't. I'm a pray. That's it. I'm a pray. That's all I can do. This would be a perfect time to come on and kind of talk about my experience with college and with Miss Rona. I have had a very unique experience. I am graduating this semester and um, my degree is in theater performance. So shout out to all the artists that are struggling out here during Miss Rona because we don't know what to do. We really can't do much. I mean, are you? <laughs> the devil is working. The devil is working, but my God, he works harder. He does. He really does. He really, he really does. But anyways, as I was saying, a part of our capstone in order to graduate from our program we have to perform and you are able to perform um either a monologue you're just being so annoying so i chose to do a monologue a song and a six minute scene as much as the class thought that the professor was going to cancel that he didn't so we were stuck performing just stupid we were stuck performing all of this on Zoom. Like that, I, I mean, I don't know if you've ever tried to do a scene with another person there on Zoom, but I, I you should try it one day. Uh, try it because I had to do it. And it actually wasn't bad. My partner, shout out to you, Javon, the little girl. We did a good job. We did what we could with the circumstances that we were put in. There's something about a live audience that just makes the experience of live theater that much better your favorite actors and actresses that are on TV and film will often go back and do stage performances because they love live theater that much. Movies which is a fun, don't get me wrong. It's not the same reaction that you get from a live audience. With films, you have like a thousand takes to get it right. Live theater, you have that one once because after you do it, after you mess up, uh, that's pretty much it. So, you know, it's been quite the experience. To top it off, I shout out to all my spring 20 graduates we don't get an actual graduation we just i don't even know what we're gonna get they have yet to decide though i do understand the health precautions and wanting this curve to kind of flatten a little bit 
um you know it, it does suck i will say i think um i as well as i'm sure everyone who has been to college and completed it or are still there have been through so much to get to graduation that's kind of what you that's your motivation for doing a lot i did put on another hand sanitizer so don't come for me by scratching my face but um that's really what we do everything to get to you do all that to get to graduation so to not be able to have a an actual graduation ceremony is it's it's bittersweet not like high school graduation where you you walk across the stage you get your little cardboard thing and then you go in the back and they give you a graduation for college they actually mail it to you so either way i wouldn't i would not have been getting my degree that day but it's just the you know the formality of going through the ceremony switching the tassel changing your bio to alumnus alumni alumni by the way on may 2nd at 9 a.m i'm changing my bio so it really doesn't matter yeah um but that's just a little short spiel about what has been going on with my life with miss rona and graduating as a theater performance scholar it has been a journey i have had to deliver presentations zoom i have had to sing and rehearse zoom i'm so tired of after Corona, I never want to see Zoom again in my life. I don't even know if I want to FaceTime people, to be honest. I'm barely picking up FaceTime now, but I really don't know if I want to FaceTime anybody after this. You professors, okay, I love you. I understand. I want to thank you for, hey, how you doing? He want to be my video. So shout out to you, sir, in the F-150. So shout out to you professors for being able to switch to online so quickly. But I will say that, I, although I do love you all, I don't understand why you are giving us more work than you would have given us had we been physically in school. That's why I don't understand. I'm like, y'all are really doing a lot right now. Clearly, clearly. I would not have been receiving this many projects and assignments. So I need y'all to kind of knock that down a little bit, but. Okay, well, I just need to drop off to my grandmother. My niece just kicked me out. <laughs> She was on her uh, her phone and I was getting on her nerves, so I got kicked out. That's pretty much it. I don't really know what else to say. It was a very short vlog. Vlog, 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 vlog. So it's been real. See y'all next time. My dad said something. Um, He said, stay stay positive, or think, think negative. Something like that, I don't know. Test negative and stay positive. I guess my new thing, period Nisha, period periodical. Period something. Something about periodical. Something about Corona. Miss Rona. Miss Coronisha. Miss Carriano. Miss somebody.